Welcome to the YoungEaglesDay.com introduction to a new website to help you with your Young Eagle rallies from start to finish. We're going to be going through the functions of this new Young Eagles Day website. First of all, it's easy to find your Young Eagles event. You have a one page registration process for your parents for up to five kids. It is designed only for Young Eagle events for both the United States and Canada. Provide graphical and numerical reports before and after your events. We also have print functions to print off your registration forms, your Young Eagle certificates, and pilot labels. We'll go into that a little bit more. There's a full function of email functions for event management and also for planning for your next Young Eagle rally. This website will help you immensely. We're going to talk a little bit about security functions for this website. First thing, you can get to this website by either one of two website URL addresses. Uh, yeday.org is the abbreviated version, or you can go to youngeaglesday.com. It will go to exactly to the same place. The first thing it will show is your three closest Young Eagle events based off of your internet location address. If this is not correct or you'd like to see an event other location, you can put your zip or postal code in. For each event, we have a uh, show as a map icon to show the event location. You can click on the picture for more detailed event description and contact information. Uh, it has a registration link and status of if the registration is open or closed or full. And it shows the number of previous young eagles that that chapter has flown locally. We also have a show more button to expand to other events. It will show up to nine events on the home page. We also provide a list of EA calendar events for your area. For the parent, this is a very, very simple website to register up to five kids. There are no user IDs or passwords to remember or enter. It is a one page form. Parent enters their information, name, email, address, phone, etc. Select the number of kids they want to register. Optionally, there might be a time frame selected for the event, so there might be up to one to four different time frames, and they can select, and each time frame may be available or, or full. If then for each kid, you enter the name, birthday, gender, etc. And then you have a free membership options for the kids, which you can select or not select. You agree to the terms and hit submit, and you're done. The parent does not have to do anything. The parent will then get a email with the information about the event. This website is really designed for, by Young Eagle coordinators for Young Eagle coordinators. It's a simple dashboard to help you through all the steps. For example, event creation, including customized URLs for your event. Pre-registration graphical reports tells you how many pre-registrations you have. You have a whole page for registering pilots and managing that, including the EA membership exploration and youth protection status, which we retrieve from national there is a check-in and registration form printing functions. You assign pilots to the kids, and then you can print off their Young Eagle certificate. And that can be either done on plain paper or pre-printed forms. You have pilot labels, which you can print off to stick onto the registration forms instead of having the pilot fill out all the information. And of course, on um, after the event, you have final graphical and statistical reports available and email functions. In terms of graphical and numerical reports, um, there's a number of charts available for the pre-registration in terms of how many kids with the ages and gender uh, activity of the, over the last 30 days, 
How Did You Hear About Us event, and the number of previous Young Eagle flights that that kid has done. Final reports show how many kids you flew, and also shows by pilot the number of flights that they did, the number of kids, their gender, and ages uh, that they flew. Young Eagle coordinators also get an exportable event data and emails so they can put them into an existing uh, tracking system. In terms of print, print functions, you have a Young Eagle registration form. Again, all these can be used plain paper or the EAA pre-printed registration form. It includes all the registration information entered by the pilot. And you, print, you can print one, multiple, or all of the pre-registered kids. For example, maybe you have an event on Saturday morning, you want to pre-print all the registration forms ahead of time. You can do that Friday afternoon, get them all done, and they'll all be uh, ready for them when the parent and kids show up for your event. The Young Eagle Certificate also can use plain paper or the EAA pre-printed certificates. Uh, if you use the pre-printed certificates, you're going to save a lot of ink. The, it will print all the kids' information, and if the pilot uploads their signature, it will include their signature on the certificate. The pilot labels use a standard stock Avery address labels to print all the pilot information. You just use, to use that to stick onto the registration forms, and you only print the number of labels you really need for your event. We have a full set of email functions available for you, for parents, your kids, pilots, and your volunteers. For example, if you want to reschedule an event for uh, because of weather, uh, all you have to do is put in the new date and submit it, and all the email notifications will automatically be done. The event information will be updated, uh, and a special note that the event has been rescheduled on the home page. If you cancel the event, you, that's very simple. All the emails go out to all registered individuals, parents, kids, and pilots, and volunteers. In terms of new event communications, uh, there are options to email all the parents and kids who are qualified to be a Young Eagle for a, a, a upcoming event. It also notifies the pilots and asks for if they want to confirm the attendance uh, for pilots. There is an automatic three-day email that goes out three days before your event that goes out to both parents and pilots. In this way, you will get a count of confirmed kids and confirmed pilots automatically. There is an email notification log that shows you all communications that have been sent out for this event. Planning for your next event is very simple. Once you have all the information in our system from a prior event, there is a duplicate event function, which you can copy all the information you want from a previous event. You just specify a new title and a new date, and everything comes on over. It will give you an option to email kids that may not have flown for your previous event. Or you can email anybody, uh, even if they did fly at your event. And that includes the pilots and volunteers. You got a new customized URL, so you can put that into your communication in terms of newspapers or flyers. You get a dashboard which will automatically update the pilot information. We also check the EAA National Membership Database and Youth Protection Status and give you a, a green or red cross if those are satisfactory. All pilots and volunteers are able to review pre-registration numbers and graphics for all events that they're participating in. You can also have a private event, which will not be shown on the homepage, but you will get, be given a special URL uh, that you can put out in your communications Security functions. This website is very secure. It's built on an HTTPS encrypted data. 
nothing is sent out between your browser and our servers. All data is stored in a secure database on our servers. Only local young Eagle coordinators and assignees can see the youth data. Headquarter administrators will manage all users. So if there is a problem, headquarters can uh, delete users. And their, your registration information will only be sent to EA headquarters and nowhere else. In summary, I'd like to thank you for reviewing this presentation. We will have additional functions in the future. There is a site link uh, called Site Info, which you can see all the updates that are going on. If you have any questions, there's a link at the top called Contact Us. If you uh, please use that. Also, we have a series of seven videos right now, um, which has all aspects of this website, which will be very helpful and give you actual examples of how functions work on this site. So please use those. And I'll say thank you very much.